Hello, it's Michelle from the Purple Pumpkin blog and now I have got my Glossy Box review. It's the third one. Um, I'll put them out in a row um, because I need to catch up with all of my beauty boxes that I received while we were on holiday in August and um, it's amazing but I've only just opened them as I do the videos which I normally do anyway but like I said they came when we was away and we've been back for three weeks so I'm about five weeks late with these. Um, the final one is Glossy Box. They seem to have changed their boxes, which I am not very happy about because they're actually a little bit smaller and the larger ones, um, apart from the fact that they were larger so you could fit more junk in them, which is what I did with them, um, they are um, got sharp edges. They was a lot softer before. A minor thing, I know, but it's amazing what you pick up on. Glossy Box is my favourite as far as their packaging is concerned. The box is always really pretty. You do pay a bit more for Glossy Box compared to Love Me Beauty and Birch Box, which are the other two boxes that I um, subscribe to and review. Um, so obviously you're paying for that that type of thing as well and um, when it comes to Glossy Box. But like I said, um, you know, they are nicely um, packaged up. You know, nice tissue paper and ribbon and all sorts. So let's open this final box in my trio of beauty box videos and there are one, two, three, four, five, six products inside. Let's see what we've got. Um, you know, the easiest way for me to do this is to just take them out and go as we go along. The first thing I've got here is a perfume sample called L'Amour Lally. Let's see if it's in English. Essential floral fragrance. Start again. Essential floral fragrance. A love potion for absolute seduction. Bergamot rosebud, tuberose, gardenia, cedar, and sandalwood. So, ooh. oh right, okay, it's not a spray. So I just managed to get that everywhere. It's kind of like it's like you can't. You'll definitely not see this, but it's like tiny little holes on the top of the um, bottle. Um, Oh, that's quite nice. It's not my usual type of fragrance. I'm a little bit more fresh and fruity. This is kind of a bit more of a wintry fragrance to me. Um, but that's because my my general perfumes are really quite light and fruity, like I said, and fresh. So that's a little bit heavier. But nothing wrong with it. Not too bad. Um, I should really look and check out the prices, which I know I've been a bit slack on doing on these videos. Okay, full size, 67 mil, 67 pounds for 50 mil. So that's that. Right, next up we have got this little pot of highlighter, another highlighter. Don't know how to use these products, I really should learn, um, but that's it there. Um, this one is from Cryolan. It says here, this highlighter is a versatile lightweight cream with a gloss finish. It provides cheekbones, lips and other parts of the skin with a beautiful velvety shine. Dab across cheekbones on Cupid's bow and brow bone for a natural looking glow. 4.5 grams, which is what this is. It's a full size product and that is £12.95. And I will have to um, start getting on the whole highlighter bandwagon because it's not something I've done ever. Right, next up we have got Philip Kingsley. Um, elasticizer. Oh, it's a shampoo. Organically created specifically for Audrey Hepburn. This pre oh, it's a pre shampoo delivers unrivaled elasticity. I really cannot speak. I mean, I don't know what is going on with me today. Um, for unrivaled elasticity, manageability, bounce and shine without weighing down or coating it the hair suitable for all hair textures um it's full size uh, full size products is 250 mil this is 40 uh, full size is 38 pounds and to use it you wet your hair and apply to mid length and end so sort of from there down i suppose uh, leave in for 20 minutes rinse and follow with shampoo and conditioner so you know, you need kind of a bit of prep if you're going to decide to use this. I certainly don't have 20 minutes spare in the morning, so it's a bit more of a luxury on the weekend type. 
must smell it. I smell all the products that come whether they need to be smelled or not. Actually, all I can smell, to be fair, is the perfume. So that was a bit of a pointless exercise. Right, next. Yves Rocher. I'm sure I read that somewhere. Am I just making it up? No. That little nail polish is Yves Rocher, um, which is pink. For three mil, which this may well be. Tiny, tiny. <laughs> £3.60. Oh, it says birthday bonus. Now, was that Glossy Box's birthday or was that my birthday? Because my birthday is in September, but this is the August box, so maybe not. But it's a pink polish. I have got nail varnish on, so I can't test it out, but I will put it on a little bit of paper, which I just rip off of there. So you can see the colour. It's quite a dark, dusky rose quite a nice colour for autumn there you go right so let's go back to this which wasn't ease or share but it was figs and rouge mini hand cream um the full size is six pound 95 for 80 mil this is 20 mil it's quite a nice little tube really nice and funky design um I really should have tested that perfume out last, shouldn't I? But um, it's getting to the time of year when you sort of get drier skin. At least I do anyway. I think I've just, do you know, look what I've done. I think I've just put it on my, excuse me one moment while I just clean my glasses. Actually, do you know what? That smells really nice. What smell is it? I mean, it says figs and rouge, but I don't know if that's actually the smell of... Oh, right, okay. Um, mango and mandarin. I was totally thrown by the figs and rouge. So I don't really know what smell red has. But actually, that's a really nice smell. Really summery, actually. Um, yeah, I like that. And finally, we have got a lippy which is Essence Long Lasting Lipstick. Provides your lips with intense colour for several hours without drying them out. Available in bright pink, vibrant red, chilled out berry and subtle nude shades. And I have got number seven, Natural Beauty, which is, oh, that's smart. It's embossed. You won't really see it. Not really my colour. I kind of wish that I'd got the bright pink. I'll put it over this lipstick though, just to see how it goes on. Oh look, you can see, look, you, I'm giving away all my secrets on my desk. It goes on nicely, I quite like a lipstick, I'm a bit retro like that. And actually it's quite a nice pink, you can just see it there. So that will get me put into my makeup box because I will use that. and. Uh, that's it for Glossy Box. I have resubscribed for another three months, um, mainly because I missed the cutoff date to um, change my subscription. Um, you know, with it coming up to Christmas and stuff, you kind of want to just cut back in a few places. And I was going to cut back on my beauty boxes and just change them to monthly for the time being to see how things went. But I missed the cutoff date, so I've now got another three months coming, which isn't a bad thing because I do really like Glossy Boxes. Um, and so uh, that's it. So that's my three beauty boxes reviewed from August. Um, there'll be a couple for September, which they should come in the next couple of days, hopefully, and I'll be able to get those up as well. And um, that's it. So sorry that these were rushed. Um, although at nine minutes, not really rushed, is it? But for me, it is rushed. And I feel like I've talked quickly. I've waffled on. I've not really known what I've talked about. And um, that's it. So take care. I will see you very soon. Please subscribe to my channel and check out the Purple Pumpkin blog, which is where I blog daily. Take care. Bye.